It's Weishni here, and I'm here with my sister Winter. Hello. And this is Weiss's vlog, and we're gonna go ice skating today, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, well, I'll see you when we get there. And we would just skate. We would skate across the ice. And it was great. And it was just a way for us to get away from our troubles for a little while. Oh, and Whitley. Whitley, who hated the ice. Oh, yes. Thank Thankfully, Whitley hated skating with us. So that was just one more way to get away from him. That's a people. other people. Hopefully no one runs into me or I run into anyone else. Oh, that would be bad. So sister, what did the little girl just call you? Elsa. Really? Um, That's interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> but I mean, can you blame her? Let it go. Sorry, what? So are you having fun there, sister? Yes, I am. I'm still, I'm still very, very rusty. We used to do all kinds of stuff, but we haven't done it in years because, you know, Winter went and joined the army. Of course, I don't blame her. That's a course of action. And it made you heiress, didn't it? It did. Until, for now, you know, father was a jerk. To save younger listeners from hearing the actual words that I would call him. But yes. I would call him Winnie. Yes, yes. He will be lucky if he does not return home. And on the receiving end of my sword when I return home. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I actually went to visit Winter. Because, yeah. She and Dad are on very good terms right now. So, it was probably best that I visit her rather than she visit me. So, I snuck out. Shh. I don't think we've been on very good terms since I was born a girl. Yeah. Almost fell there. Watch <laughs> out. So, Winter. I fell. You fell? I fell. I was attempting to do a trick and I fell on my behind. Winter wiped out! <laughs> none of this gets back to Crow. Oh, absolutely none of it. Almost now. 
Considering <laughs> it's not hard, but yes. How do I look? You look fabulous, sister. Thank you. Mm. Back to the ice. Back to the ice. Oh. I put going. my gloves back on. You nope. or my mittens? Mittens. I brought mittens. They are so warm. Oh my gosh, mittens are like the warmest ever, and I love them. They look, they're so fuzzy. They're so fuzzy. Like the, it reminds me of Zwei. <laughs> that precious dog your, your friends have. Yes, yes. Zwei's adorable. And we are bestest friends. And if you're watching us, hi, Zwei! Hi, Zwei! You're such a cutie. That's just funny. Dogs are great. Yes. I wish we had been allowed to have one. Yeah, we weren't really allowed any pets whatsoever. I think we had like a goldfish when we were little. And then I think Whitley froze it. Yes. <laughs> yes, it died. Father never let us have another pet ever again. Uh, I don't really blame him. Uh, mother, uh, mother was not going to help us take care of that. Yeah, as much as I love Mother. 
Yeah, he said if we were gonna have a pet, we'd have to take care of it. We couldn't let the butler do it. So. No, I think he. I think Klein would have willingly done it for you. Yeah. Klein loves you. Because I'm adorable. I'm so sure that's it. <laughs> with all of his personalities. Yes. All of them love me. Lots of people today. <laughs> the little children on the seals is just precious. Oh, So cute. So much cute. I think they are all puns, too. I think they're named Lucille. <laughs> I believe your yellow hair friend would enjoy that one. <laughs> yes. yes. She. Yang is a character. I heard. I saw at the, uh, whatever that was last weekend. And sadly, I still think she would have made a better team leader than Ruby, but don't tell her. Don't tell Ruby. I'm pretty sure there are many. I'm pretty sure the dog would make a better team leader than Ruby. <laughs> True. Oh, so true. I mean, no offense, Ruby's great and everything. She's just not fireproof like the dog. <laughs> that, and she's still very much a child. She's a two years younger than you. Yes. Two years. You think that if that John fellow could get, become a leader, you could become a leader? Seriously, what was our headmaster thinking? I mean, can someone explain this to me, please? Please explain how Ruby became leader over me, please. He must. I, I honestly think he must have pulled that. Uh, he must have pulled a name out of a hat or a mug. I think the mug is more likely. Who knows what he keeps in that? Mm. At least, at least our headmaster is much more. I'm not really sure what to call Ironwood. I guess I would say professional. That's one word we could use. Okay. I'm always on the love for my commanding officer, but he is my commanding officer.
Long time. Considering it has been that long, we're actually pretty darn good. Yeah. That must have been the night before I left uh, Atlas. Yes, it is. Well, again, thank you for watching and see you next time.